Okay, I know I'm not due for another video like this for a minute, but the selection was just too good. I had to, I was there, I picked up. Sorry if this is too soon for you guys, but you know me, a good vintage find. You don't wait, you don't sleep, you just do it. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, AKA Mel Soldera here on YouTube if you're new to my channel. Actually, let me get a little comfy because I feel like wearing a blazer is a little extra. All right, so now that we're more comfortable, I hope you guys are set up, have a coffee, something ready for you guys because this video is going to be a phenomenal one. I was at Retaish, like I go once a week for my weekly meetings with them and I saw a slew of things that I want, that I wanted. Some of these I am going to buy 100%, some shoes, which you guys know, I don't like spending money on designer shoes, but I do like spending money on designer shoes when they're really well priced. Because if they're well priced, then I don't feel bad that I'm stepping on them versus spending $1,800 on a pair of shoes and then being like, oh, but I could scrap them. I, it, my mindset does not work that way on shoes. But I found some really, like, can I just give you guys just a little sneak peek of a Manolo that I found? Yeah, it's gonna be that kind of video. Before we start this video, can we make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below to help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much, guys. It really makes a difference with my channel and I really appreciate you guys taking the time. Mwah! All right, so without further ado, let's dive in. I found some goodies I wanna show you guys. First bag I wanna show you guys is actually more of like a category versus the actual bag. I am all over Miu Miu Matlassi. I've been talking about buying Miu Miu Matlassi now for probably six months. You are on the cusp now. They are going to come back out full force, mark my words, and we are going to get screwed. They are selling pretty affordable on the pre-loved market. I found this backpack at Retaish and I just wanted to pick it up just because number one, it's super cute, but number two, it's also matelassé, which I feel like a lot of people, because I'm pronouncing it the French way, are gonna be like, matla what? Matelassé is this. It's their like puffy ruching that they do. It's a very signature Miu Miu look. Very, very big in the early 2000s. I had a light pink matelassé bag that I wish I still had to this day because I would be busting it out right now very 2004, very 2005, very much died off the market the past, I'd say, 15 years, and back full force. This backpack is also beautiful. I love that the top handle here is big enough that you can actually carry it like on the crook of your arm versus actually carrying this as a backpack. I'm not a huge lover of backpacks, but I gotta say I am a huge lover of this backpack. This is a must. Like, go right now, start looking for Miu Miu they're still so affordable, like so affordable. And they're such like, this color was also signature Miu Miu, like light pinks, light yellows, light blues. This like salmony pink color was huge for Miu Miu in the like 2004 era. You can definitely find some phenomenal, phenomenal stuff on the pre-loved market. Okay, next off, I missed the boat on this bag. I talked to you guys about it a year ago and I told you guys to go pick it up when they were like $100 on the pre-loved market. And I snoozed on it and then this summer, now that we're going to like splash parks, we're doing all kind of outings, I was like, I really need just like an easy tote bag to just shove everything in. And now I'm like, oh yeah, remember that Prada bag I was telling everybody to buy in like pink? A year ago? Yeah, well, I found it in black, fell in love with it, and now it's like $900, but I love it so much, I don't care, I'm picking this up. I feel very dumb that I did not buy my own recommendations, but I love this one. If you guys just wanna see what it looks like on the inside, it does have the long crossbody or shoulder strap. It is very spacious. The buttons on the side open up and it's just like one huge tote. This, in my opinion, is like the perfect alternative to the Neverfull because you know me, I would never carry the Neverfull. It is not my vibe. I feel like Neverfull, you either love it or you don't. Um, I love that it has two zip pockets on the inside so it's, it is completely open but you do have the security of the zip pockets to put your wallets and they're quite big so you can fit a lot of stuff in here. I hate that I snoozed on my own advice. Honestly though, that was pretty whack on my part. All right, next off, we got some Chanel. Chanel, you know me. If it ain't special, it ain't mine. Look how gorgeous this bag is. Okay, so I realized the leather is popping off right here in the chain. 
but that's very easy to fix. Go to a good cobbler. Um, in Montreal, I always recommend um, Corinthia's. It's, is it Notre Dame or Saint Antoine? I think it's Saint Antoine. Corinthia's on Saint Antoine do phenomenal work on leather. Uh, this is where I would bring this bag if I were to pick it up. This is a puffy leather Chanel matte gold hardware, matte gold strap. This bag is unbelievable. It's like not that expensive either. I was like really shocked at the price point on this one. It's a good on the shoulder, but also crossbodies really nicely. Like this is actual bag porn. This is actual handbag porn in the making. So the leather is like a camel leather, but it's almost like washed leather because it feels durable, but also feels really, really soft at the same time. Your stitching here is like, a, it's like, I, I don't know. This bag is unbelievable. I love the color of the hardware. There's nothing about this bag that I'm not completely head over heels about. I feel like I could have bought this one too, but no. No, Melissa, have some self-control. Some serious self-control is necessary when filming these videos for you guys. Okay, oh my God, the next bag, not vintage, pre-loved. Also a collection I thought it was completely, completely over, but I'm completely, completely head over heels over it. Like, I feel like this will be the way to bring it back for me. What? What? This Gucci Dionysus? I literally thought, like when I sold my small Dionysus, which is, this is the small Dionysus, I had this bag in the um, tan. I was like, oh no, I'm so done with this bag. I'm so done with this shape. And then I saw this. Look at this gorgeousness. So it is a navy blue velvet with like a whip stitch GG logo inside. So it looks like it's almost like a gold threading with the silver Dionysus buckle and the black leather contrast, but the black, wait a second, let me show this to you guys. The black is like an iridescent black. Like anything you could ever want in a bag is, oh my God, this bag is so gorgeous. It's mint condition also. I love that the hardware is that like dark silver Dionysus hardware. I mean this bag. I don't usually mix in pre-loved to my vintage videos, but like someone needs to see this bag in its true glory. Cause I feel like I don't understand how this did not sell literally day one of it being on the website. What? What? Like this bag is sickeningly gorgeous. Like can someone like, okay. Thumbs up for bringing the Dionysus back for this bag. Also, leave a comment down below if you're still obsessed with the Dionysus because this bag just made the Dionysus obsession very, very, very real for me again. Oof. Okay, so this is also a bag that is coming back strong. This whole collection. So Prada's recently done a marketing push with influencers on their Safiano range. I started seeing a bunch of influencers showing them again. So when I found this mini Prada, I was kind of like, mmm, mmm, these are very hard to find, very cute, but also incredibly relevant, again, just because of everything, that big push that's happening. Like, I saw Elle Ferguson with a Safiano, and I was like, mmm, Elle Ferguson, and then I, like, went down and it said gift. I was like, yeah. So it has the tiny little strap to crossbody. I feel like I might have made fun of this bag in the past, and now I'm looking at it and I'm like, this bag is actually quite large and spacious. Back in the days when I used to think mini bags were useless, and now as like me, Melissa in the future, I'm like, if it's not a mini bag, I don't want it. But this bag is actually great. It's a great color. It's a complete stunning neutral. This bag is probably not considered vintage yet. Again, probably a vintage, uh, pre-loved piece. But I really needed to pull it for you guys just because I really believe that this um, whole range of Prada is going to be coming back strong. I really don't want you guys to miss the boat on these. I feel like they're coming back with a vengeance and you guys need to know about these. <gasps> oh my God, this one is so fun. I picked this one because I thought it was like the funnest bag. Melissa in 2003, 2004 would have gone insane for this bag. Okay, so Melissa in 2003, 2004, get ready for it. You have to picture the aesthetic to get why I love this bag so much. So picture me, my hair was this color but always worn curly. I used to wear ribbed tank tops 
but long ones that almost like covered the bum in like a teal color over because I used to wear the tank top pulled over a white prairie skirt I used to wear those all the time like mid calf prairie skirts with a tank top on top like long and tight over the skirt with a braided belt at the hip and probably layers of long necklaces and this bag would be my bag is this not the most fun early 2000 bag you've ever seen in your life imagine this bag not dressed melissa 2004 but melissa 2021 with just like a basic black bodysuit tucked into oversized jeans which by the way in 10 15 years i'll probably be making fun of this outfit but like hi i show up at a lunch dressed like this everyone's like oh my god mel your bag is so cute it's cause it is. So we are looking at a Dior Troder in fuchsia with heart and tassel charms, braided top handle, a whip stitch detail down the side, Paris Hilton dreams come true of 2004 handbags brought to the future of 2021. I'm drooling over this bag, drooling, like, hi. I show up for lunch. Hi girls, oh my God, hi. Everybody's like, oh my God, what is that bag? It's this. Nothing else to say aside, oh my God. Oh my God, and the strap, okay, wait. The charm is removable. You can move it around on other bags. I'm all over this like Hillary Duff 2004 charm. I'm so into this. Oh my God, I'm so into this. Oh my God, everybody needs these bags in their life. Chanel travel bags, the totes, the cloth bags. This range was huge back in the days. You need these for the summer. I made a few of my girlfriends buy some last year and they were like, Mel, I feel like I look a little silly. Now they're thanking me because they're like, oh my God, these are so cool again. And my friend Karen literally bought hers, I think for like $250 last summer. These bags are so good right now. So good. So this has the Chanel, look at this. Look at this charm too. So it's a surfboard charm. It is a beach tote. It has the Chanel logo everywhere. This is under a thousand dollars. This is blinked out. Like who needs a never full when you can get this bag? Like this is so, so cool. They actually have two of them right now that are similar to this. Another one is like in the orangey shades. I'll link it down below, but I just wanted to take one. Look at this. Look at this little back pocket. Like, can we please talk about how gorgeous these bags are? Trust me get these pile these in your wardrobe there are some smaller like top handle ones also that my friend Karen picked up oh my god oh my god guys we're all over these you just didn't know it yet but you're all over it tiny little chanel that i found this is actually not on the website yet so if you like it you need to message them you know how i feel about chocolate bar chanel's this one is the beige suede chocolate bar it is like the the double bottom so it's the one that actually has a little bit more space tiny little strap perfect little date night mini bag going out with the girls i mean there's not much to say about this except it's absolutely stunning it is in absolute phenomenal condition it is that matte silver hardware chocolate bar stitching and tiny little chain detail is there really anything else to say about this bag than it is I feel like this is such a classic, like such a good classic that we all need to know about. Ugh, I just, I love Chanel. I love fun Chanel. Oh my God, okay, I picked up this cap because I wanted it. Okay, I, I don't wanna ruin my hair, but imagine this was like on properly on my head. How good is this baseball cap? Moms out there, you know we need this. We spend the summer outside with our kids and we're all about good skincare and not getting sun on our face. I thought this was such a good addition. They also have a Fendi one that I love that I saw. I'll link it down below for you guys. This hat is so cute. It's the blue Gucci print. It's adjustable at the back, which a lot of the designer caps aren't actually adjustable at the back. I just thought it was such a good little wardrobe staple, like a little hit of designer without the crazy designer price point. I thought it was fun. All right, now let's get into shoes because I found some really cute ones. So with um, Retiche, their shoes are always in really, really good condition. Like these are 
technically pre-loved, but like you can still see the glue from the original sticker. Like they won't take them if they're scrapped. This is literally the level of what they take. So it's a great way to get a designer shoe without paying a designer price. This one is Manolo Blahnik. It is a typical like Carrie Sex in the City shoe. Oh my God, I feel like Cinderella. They might be a little too small. There are 30, oh no, they fit. Look how cute these are. Oh my God, hi, these are adorable. Like, oof, these are so cute. So they're a nice like medium size heel. Yeah, these are super cute. Okay, so these are 279. Like, hey, you're not getting Manolo's for $2.79. Oh, these were like the sexiest. These I was like, if they fit me, I'm keeping these for my birthday. These are $4.29. Look at these. These are like the ultimate satin sexy shoe. It has like the little diamante at the front. Let's try these on. Oh, they're too big. Look, oh my God. What size are they that they're too big? Oh, 36 and a half. Damn, if anyone is a 36 and a half, these are true to size. Oh my God, these are so hot. These are so hot. And the pricing I'm giving you guys is all in Canadian dollars, by the way. So if you're American, tell yourself there's about a 30% exchange difference. Plus I have a 15% off promo code. So, okay, wait, wait, wait. You wanna talk Paris Hilton? Paris Hilton in a shoe. I'm like, Oh my God. Oh my God, these are so cute. Okay, these are gorge. 379, they are a size 36 and a half. That's why they're a little bit big. They're very true to size. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right guys, that is it. I just showed you guys everything that I picked up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little bit longer than usual, but I hope, again, you had your coffee, you were ready, you were chilling, you were watching this on your TV. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe if you're not already. And I don't have anything else to say besides I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.